So tonight we had speaking at the Furnace Young Professionals event, Ben Keane, who is the founder of Tribe Wanted, which was a fairly groundbreaking sustainable tourism programme. There was involved leasing an island in Fiji and then building an online global community that would then turn into a real life community of people visiting the island to take an interest in its sustainable development. So I'm here today uh, in Baron Furnace to talk about a project I've been involved with called Tribe Wanted. And I'm Ben and I've been mostly living on an island in Fiji for the last few years. If we didn't have the internet, would we have ended up living on the island? I don't, well, that's how we did it. And um, would there have been another way? Probably, yes, but it would have taken a lot longer. I think what's so exciting about uh, using the web is, is the fact that things can happen very fast and you can build momentum, you can get an audience, you can, get, you can build your tribe, because that's what we're all doing. We're all trying to find our own tribe and you can make things happen very quickly. But the consequences is it can crash quite fast as well. So it's a bit of a whirlwind, but it certainly means ideas can become reality overnight, which is really exciting. Well, I hope that the, the people that came here tonight hopefully had, were inspired by the adventure that I've been having for the last few years. And, and what I tried to do is talk about uh, the kind of bigger picture of the situation we're all in, which is, Yes, it's an economic crisis, but the way forward is actually to think about the social and environmental challenges we face. And if we can solve those, go towards solving those, then we'll actually solve the economic crisis as well. It's easy to say that when you live on an island, isn't it? <laughs> well, there's none of those issues. But, uh, but yeah, we were looking at the big picture and uh, what we can do with our time. I think the, the main advice that I'd give everyone who came tonight, if they're thinking about starting their own enterprise, is you know, stop thinking about it and go and do it. I think sitting here tonight, the young people, those of us were sitting there thinking, actually, we have some quite fantastic opportunities here on our doorstep. It's just for us to make the most of, really. I thought it was really interesting, really nice to hear somebody who's done something so different. Um, yeah, and I think he's quite a personable guy and just interesting to listen to. Yeah, I found it really interesting. I've never been to anything like this before. Um, I think it's been really beneficial and I've learned more about social, social cultural impacts and things like that on the environment. And it's, I think he's had a brilliant experience and I'm jealous. <laughs> I think it's just really useful for people to hear that you can have a little seed of an idea and actually make it into something. I think um, it's very difficult when you come from quite a small town to think that the, the only things that are out there is what we've got here in Barrow and that there aren't uh, that many opportunities. So I think it's good for us to realise how much you can do and the opportunities that are across the world. And I know it's not an easy time to get a business or idea off the ground, but there's also really never been a better opportunity in terms of using the internet and technology to spread an idea. And if you've got a good idea, the worst thing that can happen is that you leave it on the table and you don't do it. So if you've got the idea, do it.